Being newly caught, the ape crouched in the corner of his cage and very understandably tried to bite anyone who went to touch him. And I decided that we had better leave him for a little while to let him settle down. In any case, by now we had got together such a large collection of animals, parrots, squirrels and many other creatures, that feeding and cleaning them was more than a full-time job. But it wasn't long before Charlie, as we'd christened him, began to calm down. Slowly, we managed to win his confidence, and soon, every time I passed his cage, he stretched out his hand to attract my attention in the hope that he'd get some more food. When I put my hand in his cage on the third day, he no longer snarled and scratched. So, with some condensed milk on the handle of a spoon, I decided to try and lure him a little way out of his cage. To begin with, he was a bit irritated at not being given his food directly. I decided to trust him sufficiently to put my finger right in his mouth. I couldn't let him have the tin in case he might cut himself on the sharp edges. And then, for the first time, four days after we'd had him, we encouraged him to come right outside his cage. To begin with, I was a bit nervous because we were travelling down river and I wasn't sure what sort of chaos he was going to create among all the equipment and cages of animals that was on the ship's deck. Within a few days, he was so tame that he allowed me to put ointment on the bad graze which he had on his wrist. Thank you. 